this journey, uh, the book thing that we're doing, the book project, um, is not not really anything new. And in fact, um, I think we can trace it back to conversations at the conference. I think with, uh, I know it was with Jim Lapata, but I, I think it was 2017. And um, we keep this recurring theme of, we have such a creative and generous group of really experienced coaches um, and helpers of all kinds, but mostly coaches uh, who are gay men and um, they have many gifts and a lot of them are uh, published authors, either by books or magazines. And it was just keep this recurring theme of and trend of that. Jim had the idea of GCA ought to do a book. We have such talent, we should focus and do a book. And it didn't happen uh, along the way. It did the timing, the energy just wasn't there for it yet. But the but the idea lived on and continued. And I think we'd all been mulling that. And certainly um, Gary Schleifer with his Choice Magazine, putting out calls for writers and editors um, and Arnie for the newsletter, uh, asking for write something. Um, I've heard that we all have at least one sermon in our, uh, in our lives and at least one book in our lives, if or maybe a book chapter, but let's say book. And um, some of you have uh, multiple of those. Don't stop now. Uh, Hollis is working on one now. I'm just curious, just kind of a raise, raise your hand if you have published a book, an article, something like that. Yeah, there's quite a few. Well, uh, and of that group, there's even more who probably have things to say um, and we think that this is going to be a great project um, but we're going to need uh, lots of support to do it and um, it'll be a great forum I think and venue. Um, we're going to go over that today about here's what we've come up with. Um, we had part of this is, has been doing a sampling of going around and asking who, who all has written something we you know kind of just to get see and, and it's a long distinguished list too long just to post on a website that's kind of dull um, so what we thought we'd do two things three things was have back-to-back -back monthly calls about writing and to draw on some of the expertise and through those calls and then raising the idea of doing a book um, we were getting energy back that, you know, maybe the time is right to do that. So we formed a committee, the three editors, uh, to an editorial committee of Adam and uh, Tom and me, and then also working with the board, the um, executive committee of GCA, uh, and checking in with them, and then asking for advice from some of you all, like Gary and Terry, who are uh, pretty accomplished at this publishing thing. And so um, we've come three years later to the to the idea that we're really going to do this. And uh, we hope you like what we came up with. We hope you will engage, um, be thinking about what it is you may want to, to add to this work um, that is very focused on the GCA about coaching gay men and also gay men who are coaches and you know whatever that might look like so um let's let's move on then uh to uh, tom and um and alan to preview gentlemen welcome to the gca book project we have conspired together to find a format that will allow people who are wanting to try and become writers to take a small piece on. And that is the main goal here. Writing is a fundamental thing that almost all coaches will do at some point, whether it be by blog or by articles or by dissemination of information to a target audience of some kind. There is almost a certain amount of writing that goes on. 
So this is an exercise of hopefully finding the inner desire to express why coaching gay men is a particularly important calling for each and every one of us. Now, this project will probably take a while. So we thought the best thing to do would be to set up a blog website. Once the articles are completed, they would go up on the website and they would be public at that point. But it will probably take a while to build the corpus of articles to actually move to print. So the website is an intermediary step. And what I would like to do now is to ask Alan to please share his screen and open the blog website. There is the blog website, Why Gay Coaches, Why Gay Coaching. And the last question is, what's unique about coaching as a gay man? All of these are relevant questions that we thought were important to bring to our members and to think about how they might open the door to becoming a writer and participating in this group writing exercise. So we are building a book and we are looking for two different types of articles. One is called an anecdotal reflection, which simply is saying, look, I'm working with gay men. I am a gay man myself. What experience have I had that lends itself to being distributed amongst other gay men who are interested in how gay coaching and coaching to gay men actually is an important expression of their own life. So the anecdotal reflection is just purely experiential writing, first person, narrative form. We think of these as being relatively short. And then we look at method and theory. That's the second type of article that we're looking at. And I'm gonna hold off on any description of that in order to talk a little bit more with Adam. He will help us to guide through that. If you scroll down the page, you'll see this box that says, let's get started. So I invite all of you to consider clicking on the, yes, I am a GCA member. Alan, please do that now. And there is the form which allows you to make a proposal for an article that will be part of this book. Of course, we need to be sure that you are part of the GCA first, and then we want to know what kind of article you're going to write, an anecdotal reflection or a method in theory writing. And then we need to know what your title of your article will be as well as sort of a brief description. When you complete this particular form, it will generate an email to the three editors. We will then invite you to make a submission of your article on a separate link. So we will give you a link that allows you to drop, drag and drop the article that you've written and deliver it to us. And we three editors are here to help you. We're trying to make this an easy and a fulfilling experience for each one of you as developmental writers and as people focused on bringing their message out we're hoping to work with all of you to make this a supportive and engaging uh, exercise and task, something that you can try and get some achievement and accomplishment in. And I think with that, I will now turn it over to Adam. Adam, take it away. Great, thank you, Tom. Um, so you have these two different um, types of articles. We're talking about the anecdotal and the method in theory. Um, we'd originally talked about possibly calling it scholarly, but that starts to turn to uh, something that is a, a little too um, perhaps unreadable. We really wanted all of this to feel like something that you could just sit down and grab a chapter or grab a story and, and, and keep reading. Um, so we're hoping that uh, the material that's in this 
is no more complex or dense or requiring a, a scholarly or academic mindset than what you'd find in Choice Magazine. We really want this to be something that is usable and, uh, and, and simple for folks to engage with. So when we start talking about the anecdotal reflections, we're really talking about, as Tom said, stories, first person stories, your experience as a gay coach or as coaching a gay person, um, with the idea being that there is something about that experience that you think is relevant or useful or inspiring or might help somebody overcome a, uh, a difficulty or an obstacle. Um, it's not meant to be necessarily an Aesop's fable with a, a pithy little statement at the end, um, nor is it meant to be something that defines everything for all time, but rather a story that has some meaning and some purpose. And you'll see Alan put into the chat the word lists there. The narratives, the anecdotal stories we're looking for, we want them in first person um, as a way of distinguishing them from the method and theory. And we're looking for shorter things, 600 to 800 words, so that you really get into it, get to the point. And then when we start talking about method and theory, so best practices, something that you've discovered is really important, um, something that you've discovered about being a gay coach that is useful for coaching anybody, or something that you've learned about coaching gay men that is particularly important for us to know about how we are with and support one another. Those sorts of things we're looking for more in third person um, at 1,200 to 1,800 words. Um, so we're anticipating that the method and theory articles will be about twice as long as the uh, narratives. And part of the reason for that is because it's really hard to describe a process or an experience or analyze it in a very short uh, time frame. I recently submitted an article to Choice and discovered that, um, you know, even though I'm a, I've been a freelance writer and done the, you know, I have this many words, trying to describe a process in 1400 words or less was tough. So we wanted to give that just a little more space. Um, another question that just came up was in terms of timeline and milestones. We would love to see initial um, proposals or questions of, you know, things that you're interested in doing. Um, early in October would be fantastic. Um, our goal is to have a body of work available by uh, our May conference in 2021. Um, we don't anticipate necessarily having a full book finished by that point, unless you all are super prolific and we're all super on the ball. Uh, but if we can have materials together and get some of them on the blog so that there is uh, some stuff for us to see and engage with, that would be ideal. So if you have any questions about those things, that's great. Otherwise, um, we are going to move uh, fairly quickly, I think, into some breakout sessions so that we can talk about this. We're going to break out into three different breakout rooms. And the primary question is, what are you excited about writing? We want to hear from you. And we want to know what excites you in terms of narratives or in terms of theory and practice. We have 23 people back, so let's actually do a little short moment. I'm going to reflect a little bit back about our group. Adam will do his group, and uh, Tim will do his. So I will give you this one little nugget that came from our group. We ought to consider having a third category of writing. It would be something along the testimonial line that says why we like to acknowledge and recognize the gay male space as important in our lives. That would be an important dimension of testimonializing about why this book has an importance to it. So that's the one piece I would offer you. And I'll turn it over to Adam. Great. And I'm going to give you one line and then um, I actually have to jump off the call very quickly and I apologize. Um, what I found in our group actually was that we had lots and lots of ideas and excitements and interests. Um, I think there was some great uh, stuff that came up and an insight um, and a way of thinking about it that uh, Jeff Moore offered us was not only what do we want to write, but what do we want to read? 
what what might we be yeah. interested in digging into ourselves and how helpful that mm -hmm. would be. So I have my notes. I will bring that to uh, to everybody um, the next time we talk. Great. Tim, is it, it is all you. It's bring it on home. Well, uh, the theme in our group was um, specifically diversity, but also just uh, not only diversity and inclusion, but also just diversity of interests and thoughts. And some went, you know, line of sight to, um, oh, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I should do, to I'm not so sure that I have something to put in here. I'm not clear on that. So I think the takeaway here was that um, there's more work to be done to, you know, polish, crystallize, but also to set up structures that are going to help support us and coming up with those ideas and bringing them forward. I also heard partnering, um, co-authoring, collaborating, you know, can we do that? And so maybe we need an FAQ and that's one of the things is co-authoring is great. Great, I think that probably completes the programming. So I guess we would turn it all back to Patrick to do the closing. Or Gary, well, did you have something? Hold else? on. So out of all that, how many people clicked the button while you're in your work or in your groups and signed up? I didn't look yet. <laughs> right, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, we have our first sign up. It is Mr. Gary here. Oh, Thank you. Him. Oh, him. He's a great hold writer. On. Hold on, I got long arms for a reason. I'm very happy that we have our very first sign up. Yes. Thank you, Gary. And without further ado, I'll turn it back to, I think, Patrick, because we still need to close out the call. Yes, guys, what a great call. Um, so we're going to, we have about 15 minutes. So that gives us plenty of time to say goodbye. And, oh gosh, um, I was thinking about, well, I, I was hoping that we could take this time to make some declarations. So I'm going to give you a minute to think about that. What's your declarations for this the rest of this month? Can't hear you, Patrick. Oh, I hate that. I don't have everybody alphabetically. So again, I'm just going to go in the order that's on my screen. And um, Gary, you're first. Um, I think I made my declaration. I'm putting in, getting to work on a submission. Thank goodness there's no deadline on that page. So I've got the rest of my life to write it. <coughs> Thanks, Gary, for pointing that out. Uh, Mark, you're up next. I think my, my declaration is. I hope we lost you again. I don't know what's going on. Can you hear now me? Now we can hear you. Yeah. I swear there's a delay in my mic. Um, yeah, I think my declaration out of those two sessions where we talked about writing a book is that I am going to write. I'm going to balance it with teaching uh, this semester. And I love this as a start to, to getting that writing going. Thanks, Matt. Uh, Brad, you're up next. See, declaration, good question, Patrick. Uh, you know, the first thing that comes to mind for me, I guess, is just one, this is a really fun group. So the more uh, meetings I attend, the more fun I have and, and uh, looking forward to, to meeting you, more of you in person and getting to know more of you. Uh, but uh, I guess really trying to get involved in that book. So um, I've got it on my to-do list and uh, I'm gonna see what I can do, get a submission out there. Look forward to seeing it, Brad. Uh, Michael Klein, back to you. I'm filled with gratitude for all of you and for uh, allowing me to come and crash your party tonight as a guest. And, and uh, so my first to-do item is to join and then to uh, line up behind Gary and check a box there and uh, get to work on this, this research project idea I have for uh, for that we'll see what happens and just to, to reach out to some of y'all and jeff is only 20 minutes away from me so uh maybe we can bump into each other in in the flesh sometimes so that's uh, right hey neighbor well, thank y'all 
We all have fun. Um, Jim, you're next. Zapata, yes. Yeah, good. Um, so I declare that I've already submitted. Uh, I do it <laughs> in startup mode, which is you sell it and then you figure out how to deliver. <laughs> you know, don't go backwards. So my declaration is if there's any way I can help anybody to push them forward to, to submit right now, join right now and you'll get the extra set of Ginzu knives. Jeff, I'm challenging you. All That's right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, up next is Ken. Oh, you're muted, Ken. Sorry, sorry. Um, I declare I'm not ever wearing this shirt again on this call. Um, just for Gary, just for Gary. Um, but you know, I have to break out of my comfort zone. I'm going to declare that I'm going to think about a submission mm -hmm. for the book, and which means, Mr. Kincaid, you'll be getting hit up with a call here to talk later. <laughs> All right, some heavy thinking going on. Hollis, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you're next. There's nothing wrong with your shirt. <laughs> Actually, we will kind of like clash a little bit. It's like, a, <laughs> not clash, we get our, um, excuse me, compliment each other. There you go. Um, so, so uh, I will. I declare that I will submit <laughs> um, <clears throat> and fill out the form. Great, thank you, uh, Matthew. You're next. What's your I'm declaration? Break. I'm going to declare. I'm not going to submit. I'm actually going to wait for a weekend because I've got so many ideas that I actually want to come up with the idea rather than sending about 15 that they have to wade through. We're in trouble if your mind's racing. Make them work for it. Make them work for it. Be mean. Yeah. Josh, you're next. Um, <clears throat> well, I will confess, um, <laughs> I am already um, right in the middle of writing a book. Um, and so I've got a lot of writing happening right now, um, but I, I definitely will be able to take pieces and, and parts of all the things I'm writing and, and support this, uh, this important initiative. So a big thank you for everyone um, sharing your ideas so openly. Thanks, Josh. Good luck with that. Tim, what's your declaration? Well, I declare, I declare that uh, I'm more enthusiastic about this project than I was when I came on this. I mean, this is a lot of work and, you know, the three of us have kind of taken it, taken it on to, to help form and, and edit this. And I'm, I'm a lot more energized around that now. Good. I'm excited too. And when I said book thing, <laughs> I misspoke. <laughs> it's not a book thing. A book thing. That. I saw the look you gave me. <laughs> Tom, you're next. I declare that I am going to be interested in seeing every article that comes through and do my level best to help everyone who wants the developmental edits that they either would choose to have and hopefully see the best possible product forward. Thanks, Tom. Um, Alan, do you have a declaration? Uh, yeah, I, my declaration is uh, slightly different. Um, I declare that uh, during uh, the remainder of this year, I will think and ask for clarification before I react negatively to someone or to anyone. Mm. <laughs> wow. All right, Chris Cooper, you're next. Um, so sticking with the writing theme, I, I declare I'm going to write more. I intended to start doing some more writing for thinking about this and my own book and other stuff. I declare I'm going to start this month and really start committing some time each month dedicated to writing. Great. Ryan Gorman. 
So I, um, I declare I'm going to make two submissions, uh, one being the case study co-authored with my client who came out in his 70s. Um, and I had suggested another in our uh, breakout room, but then there was a lot of talk right toward the end of our conversation about um, dialogue with an elder was the, the language that was used, and I qualify. Um, and that whole elderness thing came out at our last conference in Easton as well. So I think that's an important topic. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to address it, but I will be submitting something around that. Yeah, I want to, I want to read that for sure. Cameron. You're next. Yeah, I, I, I declare two things. I declare that I am going to write something um, for the, the book, but also I declare my love for you guys because you're all amazing. I've enjoyed the call tonight and I feel privileged to be part of the group. So thank you. Great to have you. Very nice to have you. Jeff Nally. All right. So not for nothing, I have already submitted my article idea online just so that Jim Lapata will get off my back and Gary will stop calling me a bully. I am a, it was a loving nudge to a dear friend, not a bully moment. Um, so my commitment is unabashed, unapologetic writing in the next three weeks. Powerful. Thank you. Jerry from Manhattan. Yes, the new, the new bee. Um, so I guess I declare that I'm, we'll be back, <laughs> which is great and kind of continue on this journey and think about an article and actually what Brian was talking about a little bit is kind of <laughs> where my article sort of could go. I mean, I work in an LGBT art museum, so I work in this sort of microcosm of what it means to be an LGBT world with all the other letters that go with it. And so what does it mean to really be a gay man today in the community when there's so many other intersectionalities and diversities and aspects of it? So um, kind of thinking along those lines, I didn't think I had something to contribute, but maybe I do. <laughs> I, I would definitely say so. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, up next is Nick. Um, I don't know about what I can declare because this is the first I've heard about the book and so on. So I was just interested in, in hearing all about it. Um, I, I had a very busy day today. I almost didn't make the meeting. And I thought, no, I'm, I'm going to, to make sure I get to the meeting. And what I found in this meeting, having been absent from GCA for almost three years, is how much I miss it. How... Um, beautiful and loving this group is. And I'm sitting here. Um, I, st I just sat down here, you know, at the beginning of the meeting, I just, oh, okay, you know, push the buttons and get on, you know, get on uh, in, in line and so on. And right now I have this very warm, beautiful glow right in here. And it's from this meeting. So I will be back and I'm looking forward to it. And perhaps as my mind gets working, I may be able to add something to this uh, project on the book. Glad to have you back, Nick. Thanks for that. Gray, you're next. Well, I declare I would like to be the host of next month's gay coaches uh, meeting if we need <laughs> one. I don't know yet. Uh, I, I will pass it on to Harry. If Absolutely. That can't work. I'll um, reach out to Harry also. Great, great, great. Um, David, you're back. We're making declarations. Do you have a declaration? Oh, I'm sorry. I really wanted to hear this call. So I hope that I can get the recording um, to review it. My Brinks guy was here installing my alarm. So, um, but my declaration is I'm definitely interested in pursuing um, this project and being part of it. I think it's a great idea. I haven't figured out what it's going to be about yet, but I'll work on that. And um, just um, to be active 
in this group and um, be here to um, support everyone else in the group. I really have enjoyed, um, I've really enjoyed uh, being part of the organization so, or the alliance. So that's my declaration. Thanks, David. I'll see you, see you next month. Um, is that everyone? Has everyone had a declaration? I don't want to skip anyone again. Uh, I think that's everyone. Uh, I do have two declarations. One is that we get 15 submissions for our book project. And the other one is five submissions for January's conference. So let's, let's get out there and make it happen. All right, so that is the end of our meeting. I want to just remind everybody that our next call is the second Thursday of October. So October the 8th, same bad time, same bad place. All right, everybody, it was so good to see everybody. Thanks for coming. One Thank last you, thought as you leave. Thank you. It's a gigantic Thank rocket you. ship. We're Thanks taking everybody. off the book project. <laughs> Let's Let's work, guys. See you later. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye guys.